Hey, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. Uh, we received our queens today, and I wanted to show you for new beekeepers who have never received queens in boxes, this is how they come. Um, you can see, I'll try to get it a little bit closer there. You can see the queen. Actually, it's hard to see the queen on this camera, but the queen, oh, there she is. You can see the queen in there, and she's in there with the tendons. So we have six of these, um, and we're gonna be putting them in our hives today. We're gonna be going in this hive, um, and these two are gonna get queens. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to do one more check and make sure that there's no eggs in there. So just to give them a chance to say, just to make sure that that queen hadn't gone out there and mated. But it's been over a week now. Um, it's been closer to a week and a half. So let's just go in there and we're going to see if they have queen um, queens are in there. And I'll know because there's eggs in there. Um, that's the only way I'll know. I understand that a uh, new queen that just came out of a queen cell and gone out and mated is very hard to find. And I've only been doing this for two years now, so I probably wouldn't be able to find her, but we were gonna look for eggs. I'm always worried because when uh, this, I like this, this is a fat bee man feeder system, but the problem I have is I don't think I left enough bee space and bees crawl on the bottom. And I don't want to squish any. This is, this is, look how spectacular this is. Look at these bees hanging off there. They're making comb. But look at how they're hanging off of this. That's incredible. I don't want to bug them too much because they're making fresh comb on this. But that's how they make a comb. Look at how they're all hanging together. Good bees. Okay friends, here we're, here's where we're at. I kind of got sidetracked there because it started raining when I was videoing um, the last one, putting the queens in. Curious uh, to see if the queens will. I'm hoping they're accepting of the queens in there um, for the new ones that we just put in. So in the meantime, when it was a little bit cloudy, what I did is I went over to Newberry and I got two frames of bees. I just wanted the bees. I don't care about if there's brood, if there's eggs or anything in here. I think the one frame does have eggs on it and brood, um, but I was more curious about getting about a couple bees. I was probably a little bit more than a couple bees. I have two medium frames in here, and what I'm gonna do is take, this is my skinny mini nuke, and the skinny mini nuke is going to go down, and I'm gonna put one frame in the other skinny mini nuke, an empty frame in the skinny mini, and then um, put the new queen I'm gonna, in I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, uh, back down to hive. Um, I've got, this is the one from Newberry. Um, the bees were very upset when I took off the cover. So I put a queen, the queen cage, this is our queen. I put it right here, calmed them down right away. I want these girls to be calm because I need to take this off and split one of these frames over to this other skinny mini right next to me. So I need them to be calm because I don't want them all flyed out. So I got my smoker going, got my veil on because they're agitated. I already got a couple stings from them because they're very agitated about this whole move. They were very happy. <laughs> And when I went and ripped this them out of the other house. one where the queen cage is, um, they're kind of going around trying to get their queen out. Hopefully they're going to accept their queen. This is the one other uh, five frame nuke. Uh, I have to, I had to take a frame out because it didn't quite fit in there with the five frames. So I'll put, it's over here by the side. I'll take it up to the house and then I'll bring it back um, later on. So what we have here back over this other hive, we have an eight frame. In here, um, when I open this up, it's going to be two of the frames that I just brought from the big hive over here. You'll notice I have this entrance completely closed. That entrance is going to stay closed for the next day or two. There's honey in here, so there's plenty of food for them. I don't want them to get out because what they'll happen is they'll drift over back to their new hive. So what we need to do is, here's the queen, our new queen. Um, there's two corks. There's a cork in this end. You don't want to take that cork out. And there's a cork in this end. You want to take this cork out. And then there's candy. Um, what you have to do is you have to poke a hole down through the candy that helps um, them come out a little bit faster if you poke that hole through. I got to take this I can see better. Candy end. Just take a, be careful not to hit the queen. That queen's in there. You can't really see her in, in this video, but 
She's in there with her helper workers, her maidens. I just put a hole through there so you can kind of see through. I just put what the queen do. right down here. In there, and I kind of wet, wedged her up a little bit. Oops, squished a little bee. Are you okay? Here she is. I'm gonna squish it together a little bit without, hopefully I didn't get a bee. No bees allowed in there, in between the squishing. And then hopefully these girls are gonna, look at the pollen on this bee. Again, very gentle bees. You can put your hand right down on them. They'll move out of the way. See, wanna clear them off. A little better than the smoke. They'll clear. So what I wanna do is, um, oh, messed my hair. What I wanna do is put another frame in here. I have a uh, frame ready to go here. This is an eight frame and I think I'll need another one and there's an another one. I'll bring another one down tomorrow. But I need to get this closed up because I don't want these bees. See all the bees on top there? Again, I don't want them to be smushed. Walked all this off. I'm gonna close that up. I'm not worried about it. There's plenty of food in there for them. They'll make it for two days being locked up. My whole goal for them right now is to get used to that queen and get used to her scent and say, this is my new queen and this is my new home. And so then they will not drift back over to that hive right there. You can hear them humming in there. I don't know if you can hear them. They're getting used to their queen. A few of them got out, which is fine. They'll go back over and they'll um, find their home back over there. That's it for today. Um, I think that's it. I think all the hives are set. Uh, we'll come down, unblock this one probably tomorrow or the next day. Unblock Skitty Mini number one, Skitty Mini number two that are blocked up. And we'll check all of these as we have, remember the four queens are up here. Five queen, this is the fifth queen, and the over behind that one is the sixth queen. So we'll come and we'll release them all, or we'll see if they're released. I'm sure they're going to be released by tomorrow, but uh, because of all the bees that are in there. But we'll wait till Monday, and we'll come back in on Monday. We'll check them all and release them all. The other thing I'm going to do today is go down and put some more feed in my feeder. I don't see as many bees down there around it, so I think it's empty. That way, they need something to eat. Again, I'm only feeding because of essential oils for tick control. I'm um, not tick for mite control and for fungicide control. So that's the only reason I feed sugar water right now. Um, otherwise, they don't really eat it that fast. When they go through a dearth, which is there's not a lot of nectar out there, they'll probably eat a little bit more, which will take the essential oils back into the hive. And so when the queen or when they build more brood, the essential oils will be kind of melded right within that box. I think that's it. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.